Yeah, so I want to show you the old chuck that came with um, my drill. Uh, I seem to be missing some pieces. Bearings are, are missing. The other half. This is missing. I don't know what else could be missing, but uh, so I don't know if you could see. Let me see if you could see it. Um, it says here uh, 6033C, 0 to a half. I would imagine that that's the, the bit size that it can take. Um, it's mainly on noise. I don't know if you can see it there. It's mainly on noise. And, uh, and other than that, it's on the threaded part. Uh, it's written here to be a ball bearing. Let me see if I can make this ball bearing. It says a 0 to 1 16th 20. That's the size of this thread here. So uh, it took me a while to, to find uh, the replacement. It almost would seem that they don't make them anymore. And this is uh, the new one that I just bought. They says 33 JT 1 16th to a half inch bit. But it's made in Spain. What else is got written here? It doesn't have it written, but yes, yeah, 1 and 1 16th as well. Uh, the thread up on top. So usually uh, these are very rare, they barely make them anymore. Uh, usually a chalk does not have this sleeve up on top. All it is is just a, that press fit uh, hole. And all it is, uh, normal drills, they just push it in into the spindle of the drill. And that keeps it from, from falling off. Actually, amazing to think that uh, a lot of forces are being applied, and yet uh, it doesn't fall off. What's beautiful about this one, and uh, I'm kind of surprised they don't make any more. But um, what it is is this one. Once this attaches to the to the drill, uh, not only is it press fit with the spindle here, but this uh, the drill. I'll show you. I'll show you later. Um, this thread here engages and it just won't let it come off and this is this is done th th this is helpful uh, when you have forces being applied sideways on the drill that's like when you want to have I don't know, like a, sand, a roller sander so let me show you how how this gets installed so this is my vintage drill that I got off of uh, Facebook uh, Marketplace, got it very cheap. It's a it's a beaver drill. Uh, I think it's a 1950s, early 50s, or late 40s. Uh, made here in Canada. A beautiful machine. Everything is cast iron. Really heavy duty machine. It came with this broken one, and that's the reason why this seller was trying to get rid of it. These machines are beautiful. They're, 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 they're really well made. Very, um, yeah, I think they were for commercial, for commercial use, for industrial use. But then it was a beautiful machine. It was extremely heavy, really well made. Um, but the guy had, had um, difficulties finding uh, the chuck that would go in here. Like th this one would get press fit, but then I don't know if you can see it well, but you got threads here and he couldn't find it. He couldn't find the correct replacement part. And uh, <laughs> I told the truth, I bought the, the drill not knowing this. So I just told myself, well, it's just a chuck, big deal. This thing, Amazon's like 20 bucks, 25 bucks, 30 bucks, uh, free delivery. Well, I actually went ahead and, and got the 33, JT33 chuck, got it off a, uh, Amazon tried it out and it's only afterwards that I, I realized that there was something wrong. There were some threads here and uh, 
after doing a, a deep uh, Google search, I realized that I had the wrong truck. So I, I returned it and I um, started, started searching for it and I finally found one, one company that still makes them. It's uh, in the US, New York. But uh, the problem was that uh, they, wouldn't, uh, they, they wouldn't ship it to Canada. Don't know why, but I, what I had to do was like ask my cousin in Virginia if, if I could use her address to, to, to order the truck, which I did. And then she shipped it to me here in Montreal afterwards. So thank you very much, uh, cousin. So this is the, 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 the new truck that I got. It's called Acu, Acu Pro. What is it? Acu Pro. That's the number on it. I'll leave the link in the description below um, if you, if ever, if ever anyone is interested in in getting one of these trucks. Uh, like I, like I said, they don't ship to Canada. You gotta have an address, uh, a U.S. address to be shipped to. But let me show you how this thing's installed. Uh, that's another another thing that I I realized that is that I did not I I realized I didn't have the the correct tool to install this. Uh, I was gonna make myself one. It's just it's like a spanner wrench. Um, and and right when I was about to start fooling around with the, the making a tool for this, I I thought thought to myself why don't you just buy myself a spanner wrench and what I got is uh, is this tool here I'm gonna show you I got uh, this spanner wrench and uh, and it's a nice one because it, it, it can accommodate the uh, various sizes the only thing is that I wasn't able to find a, a spanner wrench that had the, the correct uh, pin size that would fit uh, this holes here so uh, what I did is like uh, I bought one with a larger, with slightly larger pin diameter, and I just took a file and I I filed it uh, by hand and started filing and filing up to it finally fit inside and in, to finally fit well inside the the the, the holes in my chuck and with this then I'm I'm able to to install it so. Let me show you how this is, how I, I install this. So I mean, straightforward. You just push it in as far as you can, and you start threading it. And then it comes to a point where, where the whole spindle is just starts turning, and you see. Uh, I don't know if you could see this. Probably good if I can move as you're trying to turn threads on the truck to tighten it up you'll see that the, the whole mechanism is turning you gotta find a way to lock up the the, the pulleys from turning and just start painting painting it up with the spanner wrench and that's all there is to it there you go I'm thinking this looks like it took a lot of abuse and from the 50s that's, that's what we're talking about 70 years old and it finally gave, gave, gave in so this one man she can last me 20 years <laughs> I'll be more than happy but it will definitely last me much longer than that so anyways this is how you change a threaded truck on a drill so um, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.